got some sun this weekend. Holy cow, my face is red. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that no one enjoys talking about. Um, but it needs to be said. Uh, I've talked with several people that's still in the rail industry about what I'm about to talk about, and they say the same thing. So you have to remember here that I've been fortunate enough to have never, I've never hurt or killed or hit a car. Uh, I've come close, but thankfully I've never been there. And the question is, when you join the rail industry, if you plan to stay, the question isn't if, but when you're going to hit somebody. Um, there's a couple of things you can do, and this is just passed down knowledge from what I've been told. Okay, so. Any of you old heads that are still in the rail industry, please post your comments on what you know. Please post them down below for all the new guys and girls to read. I have always been told this. Number one thing is, if you hit somebody, the law is going to be called, right? So the law is going to show up and make a report. Uh, the officers are going to ask for your ID. Do not, I repeat, do not give them your driver's license. Give them your, your conductor license, FRA conductor thing that you get from Norfolk Southern that they mail to you. Give them that. And if they ask for your license, tell them you don't have it. Tell them you left it at home because you don't need it. You're on the train. It stays in your vehicle. Uh, whatever you do, don't give it to them. The reason I say that is, is, like I said, this has been passed down. They told me if you give your cop your license, it's going to show up on your car insurance that you was in a train accident. So now your insurance is going to go through the roof. It's going to go up. So that's the first thing. Uh, the other thing, I, have, I still have grass all the way from cutting grass. Now the other question, or the other thing that we can talk about is, is what do you do when you hit a car? Um, there's several different things, and this is, like I said, it's passed down knowledge. I was told that if you hit a car, obviously you're going to tell them 911 on dispatch, you're going to tell that you hit somebody at whatever crossing or milepost, you know, you're going to get stopped. And when you get stopped, you can do one or two things. You can stay on the head end and you can wait. Um, you can wait for the, the cops and the paramedics and everybody to show up, and then you can go back to the crossing. Or whenever you stop, you can jump down off the engine and you can run back there and check on them. No judgment here. You do what you want to do. Um, and I'm not even going to say what I would do. But those are the two options you have. Uh, now, I've also been told after you hit somebody, you will have the opportunity to go home. Because, it, it, I mean, that's a pretty serious deal that could scar some people. You know, I can definitely mess with some, some people's heads, especially engineer conductors. I mean, you see it. You know, there's nothing you can do. Whenever you see them sitting on the cross, the only thing I could advise you to do is you're not going to stop. There's no need in watching it. Just just put your head down and just look away, right? Um, the last thing you want to do, and I hate to say this, is, is you peek up over the nose and you realize that there's kids or something in the back seat. I've seen that. I have seen parents with kids in the back seat run straight out in front of us and, and me being human and reacting, I would, I would sit up like this and I'd look at the car and the kids in the back seat in the car seat. Um, so the only thing I know to say is my only advice, like I said, this is ignorant advice. I've never had, I've never witnessed it, I've never been through it. The only advice I would give to you is if you know you're going to hit a car uh, and you, you see it parked on the crossing, just, just turn away. There's nothing you can do. You can't, the train's not going to stop. You're going to hit the car. Hopefully the people that are stuck on the cro on the crossing or, you know, are sitting on the crossing get out and you actually see them get out. Um, but yeah, that is, it's a tough situation. It's a, bad, it's, it's a tough subject to talk about. Um, but it's something that needs to be talked about. Especially the whole driver's license thing, right? Protect yourself. Uh, save your money. Don't give the cops your license. You don't have to. Uh, you wasn't in a vehicle. You know, there's no need for them to carry your license. Uh, just give them your FRA certification, your conductor license, say, here you go, this is all you need, this is me, I work for Norfolk Southern. You know, it's easy for me to sit here and say what I would do if I was in that situation, but I've never been in that situation. So it's easy to say. Um, who knows what I would do if that actually happened. So, I know it's a bad subject to talk about, and I know it's Monday, but it's something that needs to be talked about, something you need to be prepared for coming out of school, there's something else that they don't talk about in school. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, good luck to everybody at school. Congrats to everybody at school that's graduated and that's going to on-the-job training. Keep your head on the swivel. Stay close to your conductor. Ask questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question on my channel or in, in general. Uh, if you don't know, ask. And, uh, you know, just prepare to be a sponge and, and absorb as much information as you can And uh, because they're, they're throwing you out there quick. So 
Uh, just, just do the best you can. Keep your head on a swivel. Stay safe. That's the number one thing. Stay safe. Don't get in a hurry. Don't let nobody rush you. Um, if you're not comfortable, go back to the head end and sit on the engine. Okay? There's no need to rat nobody out. Go, just go back to the head end and sit on the engine and wait. There's all, that's all you have to do. But I'll see you guys Wednesday or on the live streams if you stop by. Uh, I'm going to start uploading videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's what I'm going to try and stick with and see how long this lasts. So we'll, we'll see. Monday, Wednesday, Friday I'm at 4 p.m. every day. And uh, we'll see if, we, if I can get on a schedule. Maybe that will help everybody uh, you know, be able to watch these videos. Until then, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Y'all be safe, be good. Thank you. Appreciate it.